Hi, my name is Leah Day, and I am unboxing a box of quilts. These came in from Craftsy. It's been a long time since I saw these, so it's gonna be really exciting to pull them out and see these quilts again and hang them on my walls in here. So um, just in case you didn't hear about this class, uh, it was a class called The Free Motion Effect. Ooh. And it was all about showing different effects in different quilts. What we ended up doing was we ended up basically piecing uh, seven different quilts. It was really, really, really lots of work, uh, but it was totally worth it to be able to show the cool effect, effects for free motion quilting. Okay, so here's all the quilts. And when I say seven, I kind of cheated a little bit. The tumbler quilt was the first quilt. It was supposed to be kind of a scrappy patchwork quilt. Show different effects on this. And I kind of cheated because I didn't actually piece the whole thing. I just pieced these little samples. You gotta save time somehow. And this is how we save time on this one. It was still an excellent lesson on how to cover kind of a scrappy quilt with an all over design. So that's all of those. I think I'll take all of these. These are, you know, about 18 inches. I think I'll take them and connect them together, make a, end up making a tumbler quilt out of it. Okay, so the next one is actually my favorite. These are the star quilts. They're a very modern, asymmetrical star. This one was quilted with what I call um, the kitchen sink. <laughs> the kitchen sink of filler designs. It's kind of a uh, beige color thread that I used to quilt it. And I just picked basically 10 different designs and quilted them, you know, kind of just bouncing from one design to another design really fluidly. It's a really fun quilt to make. But this one was actually, surprisingly enough, the most time consuming because I'd often have to stop and take a look at the quilt and go, wait a minute, you know, which design am I on now? You know, I didn't want it to look like, you know, I have a big blotch of pebbles or something uh, all over the quilt. So I had to really kind of watch out for that. It was kind of interesting. Okay, the next one, ooh, this one is absolutely my favorite out of the bunch. Every single design on this was marked except for the filler design in the center. And it was marked with uh, feather stencils. So I had a feather stencil, a feather plume that we marked in here, and then also a design in the border. So almost everything in this quilt was marked and it was actually the least time consuming, surprisingly enough. Uh, quilting on all the marked lines took all of the guesswork out of the equation. So all I had to do is just focus on quilting and knocking out all of those marked lines. So I really like this one because it was so fast and easy to quilt. And then kind of the one that went in the middle was this one, this is Superstar. And so this one, I marked the lines and then did a free motion filler designs, the paisley pebbling and uh, this is ocean currents was filled in uh, freehand. So it was a mixture of marked designs and unmarked designs. And this one was about medium, you know, about right in between the two as far as time consuming, you know, amount that time it ended up taking. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. I really like the bright colors of this one. That's why I really liked it. Now I have to figure out what am I gonna do with three identical quilts. But um, I think I'm gonna end up hanging them on the wall here in the Crafty Cottage. I think that'll be really nice. And it might help me a little bit with the echo that I've struggled with in this room. Okay, now I've got a few more. The last quilt was an applique quilt. And this thing, it's small but it was a little bit of a beast, I'll be honest. Um, I designed this because I was like, okay, let's use AccuQuilt shapes so we can cut them out in a hurry. <laughs> um, but you add applique and suddenly you add so many things that you can you know, make decisions about. Um, how to finish the applique, uh, whether it's a needle turn or fusible, I ended up doing fusible, but then how do you finish the edges? You can finish the edges with a satin stitch, a blanket stitch, or leave it raw. This one was the one that was left raw and we did echo quilting and a two color, really cool two color border. I really like this one, but it was the most simple of all three of them. Let's see, the next one, oh yes, 
This one was the most time consuming because of the satin stitching. Sorry, these are a little, they just come out of the box. So of course they're a little wrinkly and you can see the satin stitching. So for this, it was, you know, it was just a lot of intense stitch work because the satin stitching had to go on. Then the quilt could be basted and then the quilting, I had to kind of go in and around the satin stitching. Um, it was the most time consuming, but I think I like it the most because I really like that black border around the shapes. And then I did this cool extra design splitting up, uh, like a little crack in the vase. That was really neat. And then this one was the one that I did a blanket stitch on the applique. It was the next fastest after the raw edge applique. If you really want to get applique done quickly, <laughs> just leave the edges raw. You know, let them fray, who cares? And if you're in a hurry, that's just what's required. But if you're in a little bit less of a hurry and you don't do want a finished edge, then a blanket stitch is a good idea. You can see just how pretty that is. And we quilted inside of all of the applique shapes. And this one had a cute two color border too. So all of these quilts, it's just so nice to see them again. Uh, I will say in the, my previous crafty classes, I haven't gotten my quilts back. So this is kind of a nice change to have all of these quilts back and be able to enjoy them. I'll definitely, you know, use them for classes that I teach in person. Uh, that'll definitely be kind of a cool thing to do. And then I think I will definitely hang up the star quilts because they make me so happy. I think I'll hang them up out here in the crafty cottage so I can see them every day. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing this unboxing. Definitely sign up for the class, the free motion quilting effect to learn more about quilting all of these cool quilts. Find that class on crafty.com. Until next time, let's go quilt.